This is pretty cool. A real life Dexter's laboratory. Yeah, that's what he said. A whiz kid with a very powerful idea. Max Lahan shares his story in tonight's Someone to Know. But that means that there is an infinite number of parallel universes in our multiverse. Um, let's move that there. Over the past decade, the Large Hadron Collider has embarked on a remarkable scientific odyssey, delving courageously into the uncharted frontiers of the cosmos. While this colossal scientific instrument has been on a mission to uncover the closely guarded mysteries concealed within the tiniest building blocks of our reality, there is a notion that it might inadvertently pose a threat to the universe itself, potentially leading to the creation of a parallel universe. Recent and unexpected incidents have shaken the scientific community, even puzzling esteemed physicists. Among these thinkers, there's a young prodigious mind, frequently celebrated as the world's brightest child, who has presented captivating ideas concerning the capabilities of CERN and the alleged utilization of these capabilities by scientists in an endeavor to unlock a portal to another dimension. So what prompts some of the planet's most brilliant intellects to contemplate such scenarios for our world? Let's delve into this mystery. CERN stands out as one of the most foremost scientific institutions, tracing its roots back to the 1950s. Throughout its history, CERN has played a pivotal role in expanding our understanding of particle physics and the fundamental constituents of the universe. Nestled on the border of France and Switzerland, CERN's primary focus has revolved around particle physics and the exploration of the fundamental laws governing our universe. Over time, CERN has made significant breakthroughs, notably the confirmation of the Higgs boson's existence. Despite its remarkable scientific feats, CERN has also found itself at the heart of various conspiracy theories. These theories range from claims that CERN's experiments pose a global threat to notions that the organization is embroiled in clandestine activities to dominate the world. Allegations vary from sinister experiments to concerns that they might unleash cataclysmic events like black holes or interdimensional gateways. Max Laughlin, a child prodigy, has further fueled these conspiracy theories with his controversial statements. Now, rewinding a bit to the previous July, physicists unveiled the existence of three unconventional particles, previously unknown in the realm of science. This groundbreaking discovery was made possible by the utilization of the world's most massive circular assembly of superconducting magnets, better known as the Large Hadron Collider. Despite prior anticipation and even predictions hinting at a possible portal on this date, the revelation of these three new subatomic particles didn't quite align with these fantastical expectations. Even back when the grand plans for the Large Hadron Collider were being sketched, a cloud of concern and speculation loomed over it. Some scientists pondered the hair-raising possibility of the LHC birthing a black hole. These apprehensions led the Italian physicist Francesco Calaghero to draft a rather eye-catching essay in 2000, provocatively titled Might a Laboratory Experiment Destroy Planet Earth? Calaghero's essay set the stage for years of intriguing debates, spanning the gamut from the gravely serious to the utterly whimsical about whether the LHC had the potential to become a menace to all of humanity. For example, in 2009, the ever satirical John Oliver invited a science teacher onto The Daily Show. This teacher, perhaps lost in the labyrinth of cosmic possibilities, claimed that the LHC experiments had a one in two chance of generating a world engulfing black hole. It was a comical moment, no doubt, but Oliver also took the opportunity to sit down with some of the actual scientists from CERN. They, in their lab coats and with rather serious expressions, laid out a far more reassuring perspective. Yet here we are, with Earth still spinning merrily on its axis. In 2011, a pair of researchers tossed a new twist into the stew, suggesting that these potential mini black holes gravitationally bind matter without significant absorption. In layman's terms, these little black holes might be hanging around, playing it cool, without causing any real havoc. Now enter Max Laughlin. This young prodigy wasn't content with the status quo regarding the LHC, so he decided to ruffle some feathers and set the alarm bells blaring in the scientific community across the globe. Max initially wowed the world with his profound insights into the intricate workings of our universe and how we humans navigate the ever-unfolding cosmic drama. But his latest perspective isn't your average evening news. 
It's more like a relentless alarm bell ringing in the ears of experts worldwide. The young prodigy, Max Laughlin, has expressed his concerns in videos where he discusses his theories, particularly focusing on the idea of a portal that he believes may have been opened by researchers at CERN. It's worth noting that Max Laughlin is not just a thinker, but also an inventor. Remarkably, he created a free energy machine, showcasing this technology and explaining how it could potentially revolutionize the way people live worldwide. Since then, he has gained recognition for his astute observations of intriguing phenomena in our universe. Max's intellectual playground delves deep into the core of our reality and flirts with the tantalizing notion of parallel universes. His captivating ideas orbit around the premise that CERN's experiments might not just be innocent scientific inquiries, but could also pose a threat to the very threads of existence. They might, in his view, swing open a door to an eerily familiar parallel reality. This intriguing concept gains some traction from previous experiments conducted by Brainiacs over at the European Organization for Nuclear Research. These experiments primarily revolve around the Large Hadron Collider, a beast of a machine designed to break down subatomic particles and conjure up conditions akin to the explosive birth of our universe, the Big Bang. Max believes that these wild experiments might have done something mind-boggling, fractured our universe, essentially birthing us into a parallel reality that closely mirrors our own. He unspools his theory with an artful flourish, suggesting that our vast multiverse cradles an infinite number of parallel universes, each armed with its own toolkit of infinite realities. He puts it this way, we once had a single timeline. But when the experiment threw a cosmic curveball, we found ourselves hurtling into a dizzying array of parallel universes. So this means that our reality might just be a jet setter dashing from one universe to another along an endless highway of alternate existences. Max tossed another intriguing notion into the mix. He postulated that those clever CERN scientists might have stumbled upon a glitch in the space-time fabric and decided to tinker with the established order of things. This revelation flips our understanding of reality on its head. It jives with reports hinting that the European Organization for Nuclear Research is getting elbow deep in research about creating wormholes and tweaking the connections between different universes. Max wasn't done yet. He drew connections between this whole portal opening escapade at CERN and the idea that we've got neighboring universes. This brings us to his take on the Mandela Effect, which by the way, he's all on board with. The Mandela Effect is when a bunch of people distinctly remember an event happening, except, surprise, it didn't. The Mandela Effect, which Fiona Broom coined in 2009, neatly fits into Max's theory in this situation. She set up a website to collect stories of this phenomenon, where people had detailed memories of Nelson Mandela dying in the 1980s, even though he passed away in 2013. Oddly enough, many people had similar recollections of his death, complete with television coverage and a touching speech by his widow. This collective quirk is what's known as the Mandela Effect, and it adds weight to Max's notion that we're currently living in an alternative nook of our universe. That's not all regarding CERN. Over time, there have been attempts, albeit unsuccessful ones, to slap lawsuits on CERN. These legal jousts were due to nagging worries about the public's well-being, indicating a simmering unease about the potential side effects of toying around with this groundbreaking tech. So what's got everyone's feathers ruffled? Well, the main worries come down to two things, mini black holes, like we chatted about before, and something called strange matter. The mini black hole concern is kind of straightforward. One of the LHC's missions is to whip up these tiny black holes that could spill the beans on the universe's origins by snooping around the Big Bang. At first glance, it might sound a tad alarming to folks without science degrees. Now for the weird part, strange matter. The concern here is that the high energy experiments at the LHC could birth strangelets, which are like little blobs of strange matter. These unusual entities could potentially mess with regular stuff here on Earth. But hold up, strange matter is just a concept right now, a theoretical idea. Nobody's actually seen this stuff out in space where particles are getting all crazy and mingling. Should we be genuinely worried about catastrophic events stemming from the Large Hadron Collider? Throughout the years, both real life concerns and fictional tales have stoked fears about the LHC. For instance, Dan Brown's 2000 novel, Angels and Demons, 
wove a story around CERN where the Illuminati sought to pilfer antimatter to potentially harm the Pope. More recently, the Netflix series Stranger Things delved into the idea that our relentless pursuit of knowledge and power might unleash malevolent forces from another dimension. But it's vital to understand that these are purely fictional narratives, and many of the theories circulating online fall into the same category. For those who may find this stance somewhat skeptical, consider CERN's reassuring safety statement. The LHC can reach energies no other particle accelerator has attained before. But nature regularly produces higher energies in cosmic ray collisions. Whatever the LHC does, nature has already done it many times throughout the Earth's existence and the existence of other celestial bodies. In essence, if there were any substantial risks tied to the LHC, they likely would have emerged by now. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this matter in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe for more engaging content. Thanks for tuning in.